Hello, and today I will be explaining the difference between primary sources and secondary sources, and I am Tom Haggerty. When talking about these two sources, we could start anywhere. You know, we could go from primary to secondary, and that's what we're going to do. The first question we are going to answer today is, what is a primary source? A primary source is a document or a physical object which was written or created during the time under the study. These sources were present during an experience or time period and offer an inside view of a particular event. Some good examples for what primary sources are are original documents such as diaries, speeches, manuscripts, letters, interviews, news, film footage, autobiographies, official records. Another great one is creative works such as poetry, drama, novels, less ones like relics and artifacts like pottery, furniture, clothing, buildings, etc. The Diary of Anne Frank is probably one of the most popular examples of a primary source. Another good one is, say, the American Constitution. You could also incorporate, say, Native American weavings and pottery and numerous things like that. So the next question we are asking is, why can we trust primary sources? You know, we can trust this, we can trust these sources because they were documented at the time of the event that you know we are focusing on, so therefore they're trustworthy. And now let's move on to our next question, which is what is a secondary source? It's not about what you did, Secondary source kind of interprets and analyzes primary sources. Sources are one or more steps removed from the event. Secondary sources may have pictures, quotes, or graphics of primary sources inside of them. Some great examples of secondary sources are like publications, like things that we use every day, like newspapers, you know, journals, textbooks, things like that. Alright, so now let's talk about how we're going to incorporate this kind of information that I just gave you into the research paper that we are conducting for this class. The first source we're going to talk about when creating a research paper, we're going to talk about the primary source. We're going to talk about what would be a great example for a primary source. Alright, now let's say we are writing a research paper on the legalization of marijuana. What would be an incredible primary source would to grab an original legalization document from, say, a legal state like Colorado and incorporate that into your... Um, into your research paper and probably cite it and do those things as well. Now let's say we're still on the same topic about the legalization of marijuana and we're looking for a secondary source that we have to use because it's part of the guidelines for the research paper. A great example for a secondary source would to be get, as you see here, an example say from the New York Times about what they're writing about, the legalization of the drug, and things like that. Alright, here we go. Let's regroup and let's recap. There's a lot of information. We're going to go over it one more time before the end of this video. Alright, now let's wrap up this part, which is what is a primary source? And a primary source is a document or physical object which was written or created during the time of the understudy. You know, you can trust primary sources because it was literally documented the time the event happened. So, they're witnesses. Alright, here we go now. What is a secondary source? Again, a secondary source interprets and analyzes primary sources. Okay, we're talking textbooks, magazines, articles, you know, criticisms, anything along those lines. Secondary sources may have pictures or quotes or graphics of primary sources inside of them as well. Alright, now let me wrap it up with the topic that I'm trying to explain this entire time is which is the difference between primary and secondary sources and the difference is that without a primary source there is no secondary source because a primary source is a source that was there and witnessed it and a secondary is one that is talking about what happened but was not there to witness the whole